Super Baby 2 came out a couple weeks ago, and people have already latched onto one thing as his memeable, very, very strong tool, and that is his B assist. His B assist is clearly very good, <laughs> And the community in the past has memed Bardock B assist until it got nerfed and Roshi B assist until it got changed, sort of nerfed slash buffed at the same time. I don't want that type of thing to happen for this assist as well, because I think this assist, although very strong and does something that most assists don't do in the entire game, I don't think it's broken. I would like people to learn how to actually fight against it better. And while we're on that topic of how to fight against a strong tracking assist, Let's talk about how to deal with multiple types of tracking assists in multiple different ways. Not every single tracking assist is going to actually be dealt with in the same exact manner as all of the other ones. Sometimes you're going to have to avoid the assist. Sometimes you're going to actually be able to challenge it and just hit it outright. And sometimes it's better to force a scramble or not deal with it altogether. So what we're going to talk about in this video is how to deal with all these different types of assists and give you a bunch of different options so that you can pick whatever works for you or the matchups and the characters that you fight the most often. So we're not just gonna be talking about baby B assist. We're also gonna be talking about something like Janemba's assist, which is a very strong tracking assist, which is generally really difficult to get away from and is super good for combos and just locking the opponent down. And we're also gonna talk about how to deal with assists like Android 21 C assist and other C assists that will track similarly, because these are really annoying, especially hers, just from my experience, this is a character I've fought very frequently. Her C assist is just super annoying to get around. It's really annoying to block, has 50 frames of block stun. What are our options to deal with something like this? So throughout this video, we're gonna be talking about how to deal with Baby B specifically, but the first thing we're gonna talk about doesn't apply to him very, very well. And the reason for that is the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to avoid these assists, or to talk about the fact that you should be trying to avoid them when possible. With Baby B assist, it's just very, very difficult. I have not personally found any good ways to consistently avoid this assist. Double jumping typically ends up getting hit by it. Running under it doesn't really work. Backdashing is a very inconsistent way of making it whiff. It, it's very, very difficult to make this assist whiff because the tracking on it is so, so good. There are some weaknesses to it, like that you can actually hit him as he's coming out. He's on the ground for quite a while. So he does get happy birthday very often when the other person calls him poorly. And this is something we're going to talk about later on in the video that um, it is actually airborne. So you can anti-air it with like a 2H. Although this is very risky because even if you anti-air it, the other player could maybe whiff punish your anti-air. So uh, don't rely on that too much. So we're gonna come back to Baby B in a little bit, but we're gonna talk about avoiding these tracking assists because for most of them, that is actually a really good option. Especially when you consider the fact that assists have a pretty long cooldown. So if we can make them waste an assist, that assist is not available for seven or eight seconds. If they were to whiff like a normal assist, like Janemba's here, then it's gonna take probably seven or eight seconds for it to come back. It certainly takes a while, and they're certainly at a disadvantage in neutral until it comes back. This is an even bigger deal if they happen to whiff a C assist, which is gonna have double the recovery, about 15 or 16 seconds to come back. And this is a really, really big deal. Being down one of your most important neutral assists for that long really, really limits your options in neutral. And because many of the tracking assists in the game are actually C assists, this is a really, really big deal. One thing I do have to point out is that you need to think about where the assist is going to be in order to avoid it. This sounds really obvious, but in the case of something like Enemba's assist here, notice how the key blasts come from in front of me and then go downwards towards me. So it'd be down from up here. My camera's kind of reversed, so it's kind of hard to do this. <laughs> there we go. It's going to come from here and it's going to go down here, right? And at this angle, if I were to jump forward, I can't avoid it. And if I were to jump too late, I can't really avoid it either. So what's important is to jump at an angle that doesn't match the angle of the assist. So Janemba's assist is going to come at me from this angle. So let's jump the other way. Let's not jump into it. Let's jump on reaction the other way, which is a little bit difficult because his is generally pretty quick. Gogeta's C assist is another good example of this, where it actually tracks at a downward angle from the front. So if we want to get around this consistently, we're going to want to just jump backwards. As long as we know that it's coming, we can either jump backwards, we can air dash backwards, whatever we want to do to get around it. Let's just not jump in its general direction because there's a solid chance that we are going to actually end up having to block it. But what about assists like babies where we can't actually consistently avoid them? And a few more examples of this could be Tien's assist or it could be 
uh, Gotenks' Galactic Donut. These are generally pretty easy to avoid, but once in a while you are going to end up blocking these whether you mean to or not. And one thing that you can do against these kinds of assists if you have to block them is to purposely block them really high in the air. Even if you do end up blocking it and even if you double jump, you will get your double jump back. And you could also afterwards, if you happen to block it, something like Tien's is pretty inconsistent, but you will block it at some point. You could also super dash, even if you've already used your super dash, because you will get your air actions back when you block an assist in the air. And the same kind of thing can apply to baby's B assist, as long as you don't block it too low to the ground. Because if you block these assists really low to the ground, they will actually suck you all the way down to the ground before you have a chance to act afterwards. So if you can block it really high, then you can double jump again. And if you can double jump again, that means you can avoid maybe getting mixed up as you're about to land onto the ground. And you'll have your super dash available too, you'll have your back dash and forward dash available, so long as you do block it high enough. I think if they lowered the block stun on it slightly, this would be a little easier to do, but just keep in mind that if you're at like super jump, double jump height, you're gonna be good. And if you're not, then you're gonna have to be ready to block once you do hit the ground. Now we're gonna move on to the part of this video where you probably haven't thought of doing this much before, at least to a lot of these assists. In Baby B's case, you, this is something you're probably forced to do that you didn't have to do with other assists, because with other assists, you were able to consistently avoid them in the past. With Baby B assist, you're forced to deal with it. So you can either reflect it, but I don't really love reflecting that. We'll talk about reflecting assists later and why sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but you can scramble and hit him. And anti-airing him is the easiest thing to do, but I don't like that as we talked about earlier, it's easy to punish your anti-air. So what you can do is actually just hit him out of it normally. So I actually didn't think this was very hard because I play Nappa and I play Android 21 at the moment I play Android 21. I played Nappa for a long time, so I test a lot of things with him. And Nappa has a lot of really consistent answers to an assist that hits at this angle because his crouch light hits pretty high above his head and his Key Blast is very active and does the same. In the air, he has really good jump light that hits above his head. So this has never really been too much of a problem for me. It's pretty easy to just see that the assist is coming out, and at worst, if I really mess it up like right there, I'm gonna trade with him, which isn't too bad. If you trade with him, then the opponent's probably not ready to pick up a combo. They're looking for the full hit where he slams you to the ground. It's very hard to react to the trade and pick up the combo. But if we're playing as characters that don't have tools that angle the way that Nappas do, it's actually very difficult to consistently snipe him with a lot of other characters. Vegeta, for example, doesn't have a tool that very easily and consistently hits above his head. So Baby B's assist comes at an upwards angle in front of the other player. It actually comes from the same side that it was called no matter what. So if you switch sides with the opponent, he's now going to be coming from behind you and you really can't do this anymore. So keep that in mind. He's going to come at this angle where he is directly above and in front of you. And if you don't have a tool that hits at your head height, then you are not going to consistently be able to hit him. And most characters in the air do, but some characters don't. In Vegeta's case, he actually really struggles with this. You end up having to do something like hit him with a jump 2H, which is kind of difficult because it's a little slow and it's got a lot of recovery. So at least more recovery than a light. So you're going to want to scramble afterwards with like a super dash or uh, maybe a rocket kick to get away. But, you know, as, as you're seeing, I'm missing this a lot right now. Any character that has a tool like a jump light that hits above their head or at their head height is going to be able to deal with this more consistently than other characters. Someone like Android 21 isn't known for having the best jump light. It doesn't go very far. It seems kind of stubby. Her other air normals are really good, like her JM and her JH, but her jump light isn't very far. But what's important for dealing with this is just that it hits above her head, and that makes this actually a pretty easy, consistent answer to Baby B's assist with some practice, of course. And in fact, if you were doing something, like if you were already jumping towards the opponent anyway, you could always just jump on them with a jump heavy because you know that that jump heavy also kind of hits in a cartwheel all around her. Uh, so if I was kind of already jumping towards the opponent and I was gonna, you know, jump on them with maybe a jump M, instead of hitting a jump M, which might not work consistently, it doesn't actually work consistently. It's very inconsistent at hitting baby B here. We could probably just hit a jump H instead and still get on the opponent with a chance of hitting baby b there's a solid chance that we'll you know mess it up as well or that we won't be at the right angle to actually hit him and the opponent but having big tools that cover a lot of space are really really good in this sort of situation so if i was going to change anything about this assist besides maybe the block stun is really high on it's like 39 frames of block stun maybe they could tone that down a little bit i would just make it so that this hurt box when he appears 
this point where he first appears right in front of you, maybe make his hurt box bigger so that you can actually hit him easier here. So characters that don't have jump light attacks that hit at the correct angle can hit him more consistently. Where it's really, really hard for a character like Vegeta, even though he's a top tier character, to actually consistently deal with this. So earlier I mentioned that if we are going to anterior this with a 2H, this is kind of a scary thing to do. And by the way, you can anterior a lot of other assists like this. There's a lot of assists in the game that are tracking assists that are actually upper body property. So Fat Booze is a good example of this. His is actually airborne, so you can always just anterior it. But you could always just jab it too. So whatever works for you is what you should use, but anteriors are a little higher risk. But we can lower that risk somewhat by maybe using an assist to cover the opponent for us. Or scrambling with a good cancel option if we have a good cancel option. Most people who use assists like this typically just throw out the assist and wait for you to block it or get hit by it and then take their turn. And not many people actually challenge these assists properly in order to actually uh, scramble in that situation. So if you just anterior and super dash, uh, you're probably gonna blow up the other person because they probably tossed out the assist, they probably ran up to you, they're waiting for you to block it, and then they were gonna do something. But if you just anterior and then super dash, you're gonna be able to cause a scramble that they're probably not ready for. The first like 50 times you do this to someone, they're not gonna deal with it properly. Better players are gonna have to learn how to deal with this kind of thing, and they're gonna force you to start doing things like switch into your cancel options after you anterior. So in Nappa's case, I could go into armor, I could go into an explosion, which is only minus two on block, which is really, really good. Some characters with only airborne cancel options are going to have kind of a bad time here. They aren't going to have anything that's super, super good to cancel with. Although in 21's case, she would get more options if she had stocks. So we talked about baby B assist the most because it's the one that people are talking about the most at the moment. But there's a lot of other assists that are very similar to this. As I just showed, Majin Buu's C assist is actually really, really good. Um, and worth learning to deal with because it is actually upper body invincible so you can't strike it in the air it's just literally impossible you you will get hit for trying to do it most of the time because he is actually anti-airing you while he's tracking you so you're forced to deal with him on the ground or just hope that he misses in the air you're gonna have to learn how to avoid him in the air or just deal with the fact that you have to block him if he catches you in the air another really good one in my opinion is 21 c assist this is two hits, it's 50 frames of block stun, and commonly, if you think you're over it and you wanna like backdash to get away or something, or double jump, these hits hit really, really high. This is actually really difficult to deal with even if you think you're over it already and you try to backdash. The second hit usually will make contact with you anyway, which is just really annoying. I'm actually getting it here, which is surprising. Caught me there. And if it happens to hit, it's going to be a full combo. I'm personally just kind of annoyed by this assist because I've had to deal with it for so long. So I've kind of had to practice sniping it with like a 5L and then canceling into whatever my farthest reaching thing is for the scramble. Or just hitting it and blocking afterwards. I'd really like to turn this guaranteed approach as it might be viewed by the other player into a scramble that's more in my favor. I'm the one that's ready for the scramble because I'm the one that's causing it by jabbing the assist. It's just kind of difficult to do this without some practice. So any assist that you're going to do this to, try to practice it in training mode first. If you don't have the timing right and you get hit, this is a free, easy full combo for the other person. Same goes for baby B assist. Okay, so at this point we've talked about that if you can avoid an assist, you should avoid an assist and make sure it just whiffs and you can get the assist on cooldown. If you can avoid an assist by hitting it, then that is always a pretty good option, whether that's an anti-air or by just sniping it with a tool that you have. If you're in the air, having an air normal that hits at your head height or higher is going to work pretty consistently. But what if you're playing a character that can't snipe an assist and can't avoid that assist either? And Baby B is probably the most common, biggest example of this you're gonna find now. At this point, what you can do is just force a scramble. So as we talked about in his case, we can anti-air the assist and force a scramble that way where we can then challenge with a cancel option, like whatever special moves we have that go the biggest distance, the fastest, or we can just use an assist to cover the ground for us. We could cause a scramble by blocking it really high in the air and then super dashing when the opponent gets near us, or we could just double jump and try to get away, or 
We can block it high in the air and maybe maneuver and then try to use a special to get around the stage that way. One thing I don't really like is reflecting the assist because if you reflect the assist, they can still run up and take their turn. So if I were to reflect here and try to mash, I'm actually losing here because they're timing their attack right after I would have reflected the assist. I can't even jump away in this situation. We could scramble after we reflect the assist. So we could reflect the assist and then maybe go for a level three. If we know that they're gonna try and challenge us afterwards, we can make them feel like now they can't. Or we could double reflect, or maybe, although that's actually a reflect proof string apparently from Fatboo there. So <laughs> that's actually not such a good option. Anyway, we could reflect into hard tag. We could reflect into level three. We could double reflect if the other character doesn't have good reflect proof strings. One thing I really like to do is actually call our assist and then reflect. So we will reflect the assist away and then our assist will kind of cover us afterwards. But one thing you might notice with this is if I reflect the assist away, Nappa's still getting hit for some reason, even though we're successfully reflecting the assist. And that's because Nappa's getting hit before he makes contact with us. We wanna reflect him away before he can get to Nappa. So what we could do is we could call Nappa dash forward and reflect, or we could call whatever our assist is, dash forward and reflect. And because Baby is tracking onto where we are, he's gonna track to us as we move forward. So now, he's no longer gonna actually hit Nappa. And Nappa can cover us while we're reflecting, so we're kind of protecting our assist and our assist is kind of protecting us. Against Key Blast type assists, you can do this too, but you could also, use key charge instead if you wanted to. And because you can cancel this into super dash, it's actually relatively easy to pick up depending on what your assist is. If it happens to hit the opponent. Although reflect works just fine and you actually do get meter for successfully reflecting the opponent. You can see I get a little bit just for reflecting here about maybe an eighth of a bar, which is pretty good. That's actually not much less than if we were going to do this with key charge. So honestly, I like the reflect option a lot. It's generally pretty consistent. And if all else fails and you aren't comfortable getting around an assist and you aren't comfortable dealing with it properly, it's still fine to just reflect and block afterwards. You're going to be getting some free meter here and your opponent might not be ready to take their turn afterwards if they don't see that you actually just regularly blocked it or got hit by it. But if you are going to reflect, you need to be willing to block afterwards because they can just run up and dragon rush you as you're recovering from your reflect. They can just run up and challenge you as you're recovering from your reflect as we showed in that recording earlier. It's really, really easy to do this, especially with assists that hit multiple times. So beam assists are really, really bad to reflect because the opponent can just visually confirm that you reflected it, run up, wait for the reflect to end, and then take their turn and really uh, force you to block. At the very least, in this case, if you can reflect and then sometimes challenge with a hard tag afterwards, sometimes challenge with a level three or a reversal of whatever kind you happen to have, you can make them at least feel like they can't run up and take their turn for free. Okay, so just a quick recap of everything we talked about. If you can avoid an assist, avoid the assist. You have to think about what angle it's coming from in order to avoid it properly. But if you can avoid it, then now they don't have an assist available for a pretty good amount of time which really, really benefits you in neutral for a while. Or you can just hit the assist instead, whether you're in the air or on the ground, depending on what tools your character has available to you. And if all else fails, you can try to cause some sort of a scramble by blocking these assists really high in the air, or by reflecting and then using an assist along with that reflect, or by anteering and then using an assist along with that reflect, or canceling into some kind of option, or canceling into a super dash, whatever. Try to be creative, try to mix up your options, as with all things in the game. So avoid it, hit it, or cause a scramble. I know in this video I talked largely about Baby B Assist, but I hope I gave you enough examples of other assists as well that you can hopefully find some answers to any of these kinds of assists that you may be struggling with, whether they're Key Blast property, whether they're C Assists, whether they are tracking super, super well, like baby b if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching we will be uploading a baby 101 video soon i've been working on it but these videos take a really long time so thank you for being patient if you want to continue learning dragon ball fighters with me i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel we also have a discord now so if you are interested in joining a community of other people who are also trying to have a good time improving at the game feel free to join that the link is somewhere down below there's plenty more on the way soon thanks for watching